What's up, YouTube? It's Curly to Victoria. I've posted probably, I'm gonna post like four or five videos um, back to back, and you're gonna see me in the same exact outfit because that's how motivated I was to get you guys some content. Um, today's video, as you guys can tell, is talking about why you're not seeing results, why, um, you know, things are just not working out. So let's get right into this video. If you're new, make sure you comment subscribe like um thank you so much for stopping into my channel because you didn't have to and if you've already been subscribed and you've already been following me then i definitely want to say thank you because you are the real mvp so let's get into this video i want it to be quick i want it to get to the point and i just basically wanted to do all of that so if you guys haven't seen my other videos make sure you go check them out okay make sure you go check them out okay because it's some good stuff and I know for a fact you guys are gonna like it okay so basically why you're not seeing results you're not seeing results because number one you're not being consistent when you are consistent that's when you'll see results I know that I keep going I feel like I'm at a plateau right now like of maintaining but I'm not seeing the results of I, I was feeling like I wasn't seeing the results of weight loss um, to any extent or you know gains other people are seeing it but for you sometimes you don't exactly see it right away but if you are consistent you will begin to notice certain things for example i have been consistently trying and i do the parentheses because i am really trying so i don't know the quotation marks not the parentheses the quote trying is what people say but i really have been doing okay and i go to sleep super late at night and I've always tried to work on it and it just doesn't seem to you know do much for me I still go to sleep late like this morning went to sleep super late but I attempted to get in the bed and go to sleep so eventually that's what happened because I'm consistently trying the other night I went to sleep at one o'clock and you're thinking one o'clock in the morning is late for me that's early and I noticed results but I can't be trying I cannot be trying to be consistent based off of your um evaluations i have to be consistent based off of mine there are nights where i only get an hour of sleep and i wake up and i start my day and i do everything as though i had eight hours of sleep and i did not and that's not healthy that's not good that your whole body can shut down and it definitely can play a major role in how your adrenal glands and your hormones and things like that are within your body because you're not getting ample rest so i know these things so i am at a place where you know I'll get in the bed at night and I'll look at some motivational videos or I'll look at some um, YouTube or I will watch a show or something and then I will put my phone away just because I know that if I have it and I'm not sleepy I'm gonna stay awake but if I put my phone up on the dresser somewhere then I have to focus on falling asleep so that is what I do I've been doing that consistently now for a week and you know what results I've seen I've had a boost of energy there's days where I'm trying to clean up and I just fold and I'm like not fold close fold and stop because I don't have the energy I don't have the wherewithal to just be there and keep doing that task forever now granted when I clean up I'm one of those people who like to clean up in stages I don't want to do it all in one day just because I feel like when I do it in stages it gives me time to focus on that area if I'm cleaning my whole house in a day I'm more likely to not clean it as efficiently as I would if I said today I'm gonna to clean the kitchen and I'm gonna clean the bathroom if those were my two goals for the day then I'm going to go as hard as I can to do that why I think that's just you know just kind of a natural thing for us we focus on one thing and we master it but we have multiple things it might take a little bit longer to master so that is consistency so I'm seeing more energy I'm seeing um, you know a different glow and obviously I'm trying to get my skin breakout hormonal breakouts and stuff under control but when I say glow I'm just saying it's a different I feel it's a difference that I feel within my body and I'm thinking some people are seeing it but it's not up to them it's up to me but I'm saying that because I've gotten feedback from people so obviously I'm doing something right um, another reason outside of consistency is you're feeding and you're feeding your body with junk you're consuming beverages that don't serve you for example I have three water bottles down here right now I've already finished this one these two I'm working on right now and 
I do put lemon in my water, but if I go out in public, a lot of times I just squeeze the lemon juice in here and I throw away the peel because I don't know where their hand's been. I don't know that they rinse off or clean their lemons. I know the peels and stuff like that in your water does have benefit, but if I'm at home and I cut up my lemons and I rinse them off, then I feel more comfortable dropping that into my tea or into my water than I would in public in there just out there in the public you feel me so there's lemon juice well lemon squeeze in my water so which i don't know if you guys know this but lemon water is very helpful for digestion um i drink it that way like i said when i'm home i put my lemons in my water and when i drink my tea i don't drink tea with sugar if anything if i want something sweet i might do some organic honey but most of the time, it's just the tea. I put the bag in. Once I let the bag sit for about five minutes or so, then I take it out and I put in my lemon, one lemon cut up, and I squeeze it in there and drop the lemon in, and I drink it like that too. Um, most people don't like it like that because it doesn't have flavor, but if it's like a herbal tea and it's no caffeine in it, then I think you're probably getting your best benefits by not adding sugar and some days not adding honey. So definitely make sure you get your water intake up. Make sure you're consuming the things that you're supposed to now i'm not saying it's going to be overnight that you're going to oh you know i'm just going to go eat every single thing healthy i'm never going to have a sandwich in my life again you know what i mean you can have certain things you just have to do it in moderation and if you know that you ate something terrible then make that your motivation to crush it in the gym to go burn that off okay so don't beat yourself up because you had a cheat meal just don't be having cheat weeks after weeks after weeks after weeks or days you know or if you're somebody who feel like no i need me some form of sugar drink one non water beverage a day so if you're gonna have orange juice only one glass everything else for the rest of the day is water i used to have to do that growing up we can have one sugary drink a day and you know we sometimes used to get a second one and they'd be like didn't you already have your drink for the day you know what I think you're right. I, I think I did. And you're like at the end of the second drink, but you already knew you just was trying to test the waters. But no, those type of patterns carry with you as you get older. Like drink that one sugary beverage. You know, if you must have a sugary beverage during your day and drink water every day, the rest of the day and drink ample water. And then some people, I mean, maybe you got to drink five days out the week. You're going to drink water only. And then on the weekends, you can have juice and stuff in moderation. Whatever works for you, do that. But consistency is key. Hydration and fueling your body is also key. So I will put that as three different things. Consistency, hydration, and fueling your body. Proper nutrition, proper hydration. So don't just think because you're adding 16 cans of soda a day that you're hydrating yourself. You're actually giving yourself cramps, sugar, and it is taking away from your hydration, making you more thirsty. I'm no nutritionist, but these are common things that you know just part of life the fourth reason why you're not seeing results is because you're not doing the work you can't expect to see results if you're not i always say it's impossible not to see results with when you're exerting consistency okay so if you are consistently doing something for the greater good it's impossible not to see results. You're going to see results, even if they're small. Like people who say, oh, my hair don't grow. Your hair does grow, sis. Maybe at a slower speed or a slower rate. And maybe you, you trim or cut your hair all the time. Like for me, I normally cut trim my hair, which turns into a cut in the Dominican salon every three months. But you know what I've been noticing about my hair journey is my hair might be healthy, but there I can make I can do other things to make it more healthy. But I need to make sure that I'm consistently keeping it healthy. And if I keep cutting it, can I really see the results? Because I keep cutting it. So it's always going to keep going back. It'll grow a little bit. But you're like, why am I not growing at a steady rate? Well, you're cutting your hair so often. So maybe if you don't cut your hair for a year and you take care of your hair, you will see substantial growth because you did not cut all the time, every two months, three months. So, you know, you have to... Be consistent to see the results you have to do the work you have to do your hair you have to take care of your hair you have to do this or you know what happens when you don't take care of your hair the hair starts to break the shafts start to split it's because you're not being consistent with what you should do for yourself so consistency is definitely going to be key you will see results when you put in the work so again 
make sure that you're consistent, you're hydrated, your nutrition is proper, and you're putting in the work. And the fifth thing, believe in yourself. Self-care, you know? Believe in yourself because too many people are not believing in themselves and that's why they're not seeing results. If you want to see results, believe in yourself, okay? Don't rely on Miss Sue down the street to sit here and tell you you're going to be great. If Miss Sue down the street tells you you're going to be great, then you tell Miss Sue thank you and you keep that in the back of your mind that you have people rooting for you. But though Miss Sue's you're going to be great is something positive, it means nothing if you yourself don't believe in yourself. So believe in yourself. Get back on track. Figure out what your goals are. Accomplish them. Secure the bag, seclude yourself, because sometimes you need to separate to elevate. Separate to elevate, and it doesn't mean that the people surrounding you are bad for you or toxic. There's some who are, and there's some who aren't. But when you get into seclusion and you separate yourself and you distance yourself from certain activities, certain people, certain things, you get yourself into a space, you enter into a realm that you will never enter if you don't separate to elevate. You know what I mean? You have to spend the time investing and believing in yourself in order for you to see the results. So again, I love to keep doing recaps during the video because some people are probably trying to jot these down. I'm going to recap the last five and I'm going to tell you guys, see you later. So again, the five things to help you see results are consistency, hydration, nutrition, can, uh, do the work, and then believe in yourself. Those are the five things that you guys need to do to be successful even if you're not seeing rapid rapid results just remember good things take time if it comes easy do you really want it you know the people who are losing 30 pounds in a week because they're starving themselves are going to gain 60 because that's just not the way you take care of your body when you start to live a healthy lifestyle whether it be through your diet your your food what you get for your diet, well, I don't even like to call it diet, it's lifestyle. What you eat, how you work out, how you sleep, how you believe in yourself, how you literally go about your maintenance of your life is going to deeply reflect the way you look. You ever notice somebody whose skin is glowing and their body looks good and their mind sounds right and their refrigerator is stocked with fruits and vegetables, how just all together they're a glow. And you're like, well, sis is looking good. Now, some people, that's hereditary. You know, the abs, people are born. But I seen a kid a long time ago, came out, dude has a six pack. He, he's not even one, but hereditary. But outside of that, when you're seeing these people walking around just glowing, there's a radiance about them, and it doesn't, you can't figure it out, it's because they're probably believing in themselves. They're doing all the five things I just said. They're consistent and they are not focused solely on any of what you're seeing. They do it because it is a lifestyle. They do it because it is important and because they believe in themselves and because they believe that everything attached to them has to thrive when they're doing right others are seeing results and they are people's goals because it's just what they believe so stop focusing so much on oh i need to lose the weight oh i need to do this oh i need to do that and start to adopt the positive habits adopt sleep adopt eating right adopt fitness adopt gym adopt believing in yourself adopt positive vibes only speak life over yourself in the book of James, and I'm not going to make this a, a preaching service, and I know everybody might not be Christian, but I'm Christian. And what I'm going to tell you guys is the book of James says, the power of life and death is in the tongue. You have to speak life over yourself. You have to speak positivity over yourself. You have to speak things as that aren't as though they will be. And when you start to get a hold of that and you start to get a hold of yourself, you're going to see a different version of yourself. You're going to see yourself not being able to tolerate all of this negativity and these toxic people and toxic traits and toxic habits that you have. You're not going to want to deal with them. You're not going to want to do it because you now see that there is potential. There's beauty in every struggle. 
So don't ever look at your circumstances and wish for someone else's because there's some people who might look at me and wish they were me. And this is, this is just an example. Wish you are me, but you have no idea the hurts that I hurt. You have no idea the pain that I bear. You Will you just ask yourself, the person that I think I want to be, if I found out what their true, what, they, what their heart truly missed and longed for and hurt, I was hurt by, would I want to carry their pain? Would I want to carry their burdens? Or would I feel overwhelmed and exhausted? Would I be able to walk even a millisecond in their shoes? Will I be able to even take one footstep? And I, chances are you're gonna say no because of somebody else's pain. So you have to make sure that you're okay with yourself and never wish that you were someone else. It's okay to say, oh, her body is together. That's goals. Her body is goals. But that doesn't mean that her has to be who you think that you should be because God made one of each of us for a reason. And being you is your power and that is what you have over every other person is being yourself. So love yourself. Some of you who are watching these videos are probably just now discovering yourselves or maybe you already love yourself or maybe you just need to be picked up. You need somebody to encourage you and to say something positive to you because you haven't heard anything positive in a while. Well, you're great, you're awesome, you're gonna be somebody. For the people who say, oh, you're not gonna be anything, you're gonna be somebody. Just be consistent and believe in yourself. I read a post on Instagram that stated, oh, um, and I know that I said I was gonna let you guys go after I told you the five tips a while ago, but I read the post that said, my stepdad said that I wouldn't be anything at all today i'm graduating from college and he's in jail that is a post of belief he that that young boy believed in himself and as a result he became everything that everyone else told him he wouldn't become because he believed in himself so i want you to believe in yourself i want you to be motivated i want you to stay positive and i want you guys to subscribe to my channel because i truly drop jewels and i truly drop drop some things that could potentially you know help and i also you know have good content to just post and share with you guys but i hope that if you're the only if i'm the only thing that you see today that it was enough to make you smile and it was enough to give you a reason as to why your place on earth is important and why we need you here so um last thing i want to share guys i know this video is a lot of rambling but i think there's a lot of jewels here is Get you some apple cider vinegar if you're trying to burn some valley fat. A lot of times people say they drink apple cider vinegar straight. I do not because long-term effect, it could burn your esophagus. I dilute this in some water and I drink it maybe one to two teaspoons in some water and I drink it room temperature. I do not drink it with cold water because it's a lot of benefits in room temperature water. And I also can add this to my um, Aztec healing clay mask that I put on the green mask. If you guys with the bit night clay, if you guys watch my videos, then you know that I mix this as well. So many benefits to apple cider vinegar. I also sometimes put just a cap full in my tea with no sugar or anything like that. And you know, there's just benefits. It helps with digestion. It does a lot of different things. It filters a lot of things going on in your body. I, it could be a whole nother video to talk about the benefits, but I encourage you to get brags with the mother in it. You always hear about the mother. That's just the stuff that kind of gathers, you know, to the bottom that makes this drink what it is. This drink doesn't expire until two, uh, February 25th, 2024. I just bought it yesterday. So it's good for four years, even though it'll be gone in a few months. So yeah, make sure you guys drink your water, stay hydrated. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get these videos out to you guys in the next couple days. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Curly's Victoria. Everything about my page, my website, everything will be in the comment section below. So make sure you guys get into that. And let me know what days do you watch YouTube. I'm trying to figure out what my regiment's going to be. Am I going to post every day, every other day? Or am I going to always post weekends? We don't know what the schedule is going to be. But I will keep you guys as informed as I am about my schedule. Okay. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. It's only your love something. But why does it feel like it's true something?